Hello everyone and welcome to another Halo 5 Forge map showcase. Today I have an awesome mini game for you guys. Today I am featuring Chess and this was created by Nameless Guy VA. And this is just Halo scripting at its finest right here. And I'm not gonna teach you guys how to actually play chess because, well, I'm pretty sure most people know how to play chess. But if you don't, I suggest you go and learn it so you can play this mini game. But to those of you who are familiar with the chess board game, I think you'll have a lot of fun with this minigame. Now I'm gonna explain to you guys how the game works because there is uh, a lot of button pushing to play this game and I'll also explain later on why it's all pigs instead of uh, you know custom forge pieces or whales. Anyway uh, let's just get right into you know how to play it first. So let's say I want to move this knight here so the first thing I'll have to do is to interact with the terminal at its ass. After that I will interact with the terminals at this platform right here which will cause it to move. And and since it's a knight, it'll move in an L shape, so I'm gonna interact with this terminal, it'll cause it to go forward. And if you want to make a piece move twice, just interact with the terminal twice. And then I'm gonna make it go to the right since it is a knight. So now since my turn is done, I'm gonna go to that object that I moved, go to the keypad at the pig and then deselect it. You'll know when an object is selected or deselected depending on its color. If it's green, that means that it's the active object or the one that you're about to move. And if it's red or blue, that means it's not active. Now it's my opponent's turn. He selects that bishop of his and he's gonna eat my bishop right here. Here I am getting mad because I didn't see that my bishop was left wide open, so he's gonna get that. Anyway, uh, if you are wondering how you differentiate the different officials and the, uh, well the different pieces pretty much the pawns are the pigs with the black spots for the rooks on red team they have blue spots purple spots if it's a knight and then orange spots if it's a bishop if it's a king or a queen it'll have white spots and the king's the one with a hat anyway I'm just gonna leave it in the description like the full list so it'll help you differentiate the pieces Anyway, uh, here I select my piece or my bishop that got eaten and then I'm gonna move it out of the board. This is what you have to do anytime that a piece of yours gets eaten. So there, I move mine out of the board and then you can go into this lower platform here to deselect it. And make sure when you move it out of the board you move it twice beyond the border otherwise it's just gonna get stuck there so I had to ask my friend to move it to the left one more space so I can deselect it so if you're planning to download this minigame uh, I'm just gonna warn you that it might take a while for you and your opponent to get used to it because there is a lot of uh, button pushing there are also a lot of pigs I know that confused us at the start and the reason why it's all pigs is because if he used like custom forge pieces like m welded pieces together to create like a rook or a knight it would have been too much scripting to add to the game and since we only have a script budget of 512 he had to go as minimalistic as possible which is one object and one keypad and the reason why he couldn't do whales versus pigs is because the whales are too big that it pretty much lined up almost nose to tail on the board and there was no room to interact with the keypads on their backs. Anyway, that is pretty much it for this Forge Map Showcase. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope I was able to explain it well enough. Once again, I will also leave a guide in the description to help you guys out with identifying which pig is which like in terms of their role to a game of chess. Anyway, that is pretty much it for this Forge Map Showcase. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.